everybody, my name is Chase and today I'm going to be helping you all access your lab results and test results in the Cleveland Clinic MyChart website. Now, after this video, you should be able to find your most recent or any past and previous test results that you have through the Cleveland Clinic. So let's get started. All right, so now that you have logged into the Cleveland Clinic MyChart account, I'm going to show you how to access those test results. So if you look at your homes page, you're going to see a small bar of options on the top of your screen. That bar should show menu, upcoming and past appointments, inbox and sent messages, test results, and medications. Now to access your test results, you're gonna want to go over to your test results tab and you're going to want to click on that. And that will bring you to a page that has all of your test results. Now, if you accidentally click on medications or inbox and send messages, since those are right next to the test results, that's totally fine. The top bar will stay there the entire time. So if you accidentally click on medications, you can very easily just move your mouse back over and click on test results. Also, if you want to go back to that home screen for any reason, instead of clicking on menu, which seems like the logical choice to bring you back to that home screen, you're actually going to have to move up a little bit to the My Cleveland Clinic logo and click on that. When you tap on that logo, that will bring you back to that home page, and then you can do whatever it is that you want to do on the home page. <laughs> but looking at the test results, you're going to see a list of different test results and they're ordered by what type of test you got. Then next to that is going to be the doctor that you had or that it was that that test was ordered by. And then next to that, you're going to have the date. Now you can actually order things by the date. So the way that the list of test results is ordered when your screen initially comes up is by the most recent test that you had. Um, if you look over at the date column, you will see an arrow next to that. If the arrow is pointing down, that means that that top test on your screen is the most recent test. If you tap on date and then the arrow starts to point up, then it will show you your oldest test result and the first result, first test that you got in the Cleveland Clinic system. And that will order it by oldest to newest. But as long as that arrow is pointing down, it is from the newest at the top and then oldest test down at the bottom. If you want to look for a specific test, you will see a little search bar that says search this list. If you click on that, you can type in whatever you want. So if you got your elbows tested, you can type in elbow. If you got hips tested, you can type in hips or whatever test you're looking for. Uh, if you're looking for a specific doctor, you can type in Dr. Smith. Um, or if you just type in Smith, that will pop up as well. And when you're looking for the date, you can actually type in specific dates. So if you're looking for a test from 2021, you can just type in 2021 and all of your test results from 2021 will show up there. If you're looking for 2018, 2010, anything like that, that will show up. Uh, one thing to note, if you are looking for a specific month, you have to type the abbreviation of that month. So if you're looking for December, you're gonna have to type in DEC and then they're gonna type up. If you spell out the full word December, then that's not going to show up for some reason. So the, whatever that three letter abbreviation is, you're going to type up that for that month. And then you can click on whatever result it is. So if you want to click on the latest one, go to that top result, tap on it, and that will bring you up to that page. So that is how you access your test results and your lab results. It's a pretty simple process to do. And if you're doing this on a mobile device, it is a fairly similar process. Just find the test results tab, click on it, and then you can search for whatever test result you want to find.